My name is Tony Pope Cruz and I'm a solution sales engineer with Dynatrace. And I help companies automate the monitoring lifecycle and deliver an automated cloud environment. Today, I wanna to talk about how Dynatrace integrates with Red Hat Ansible to deliver a self-driving cloud ecosystem. Dynatrace is an all-in-one software intelligence platform. We deliver best-in-class application performance monitoring, infrastructure monitoring, digital experience management, and digital business analytics, all with AI ops built in. We provide deep visibility across both your on-prem environments and your modern cloud environments. Everything from the real user experience through transactions and code to infrastructure, logs, and more. Our products are certified for use with the Red Hat portfolio across your hybrid cloud environments. Companies are leveraging Red Hat Ansible automation platform to automatically make changes such as build, deployments, configuration, and updates to the IT components in your ecosystem. Our software intelligence platform automates the monitoring and identification of performance or availability issues within these components. This visibility mitigates risk and gives companies more confidence to perform more automation more frequently, knowing that Dynatrace is there to detect any issues that arise from these changes. With traditional monitoring, the amount of manual effort required to deploy, configure, and analyze with these tools is painfully overwhelming. This results in visibility gaps into these critical systems. Our solution automates all of this with the one agent. Plus, thanks to our AI, we uncover root cause automatically. So our customers are getting answers rather than a bunch of meaningless data that they have to try and leverage themselves. Dynatrace leverages a deterministic AI called Davis to automatically identify problems, the business impact, and the root cause. Through an out-of-the-box integration with Ansible Tower, we are able to send a notification that includes all of the problem details, which in turn, Tower can then run a job to actually roll back that change and fix the issue automatically. So instead of getting an alert that says, this system is slow or this server is out of memory, you're getting a notification that says a problem was identified, this was the root cause, and we've resolved it automatically. Now let's take a look in a live environment as we demo this integration. So how does auto remediation with Ansible work? To start, your organization is already using Ansible to automate tasks such as configuration and deployment changes with playbooks and templates. The first step is to update the playbooks to include an additional task that sends context information about these changes to Dynatrace using an API call. Dynatrace is continuously monitoring the health of your environment and observing the impact of these changes. When Dynatrace detects a problem, our Davis AI engine automatically determines the root cause for you. Then, using an out-of-the-box integration with Ansible Tower, Dynatrace will then send a notification with the problem details. Ansible can then use the problem details that are sent to communicate back and forth with our API and determine the appropriate remediation task that will end up automatically fixing the problem for you without any manual intervention. Let's break down the playbooks that we're going to use in this solution. There's essentially three of them. First, you have your existing playbook that you're using to automate a change. Ansible uses tasks to do things like provisioning cloud resources, managing configuration files, deploying applications, or updating security policies. To push the context information about the changes that are made by this playbook, we're simply going to add an additional task that sends configuration change event or deployment event to the Dynatrace API. This is what enables Dynatrace to be aware of which monitored entities are impacted by this particular Ansible job. Next, you have your rollback playbook. Going back to the days before automation, 
change management process require that every change has a backout plan. And that's still true today, even when you're using automation. This playbook rolls back the change made by the first playbook and will serve as our remediation action. We need to push context information about the rollback to Dynatrace as well. So again, we're simply going to add the appropriate task to send that event into the API. In summary, we're simply modifying your existing playbooks and adding that one extra step to call Dynatrace. Finally, we have the playbook that handles the communication between Dynatrace and Ansible Tower. This is what drives the auto remediation. This is the playbook that is attached to the Ansible Tower job template that is called directly by Dynatrace through the out of the box integration. It's a robust playbook that can handle a variety of remediation tasks. It will inform us when an auto remediation task does not exist and also send us a notification when the self-healing is successful. It's really just a series of blocks, conditionals, and heavy use of the URI module in order to communicate with our API. Let's take a look at this in a live demo environment. Here we are in our Ansible Tower instance. Let's begin with launching an Ansible Tower job that will initiate the change within our environment. For this demo, we'll be enabling an application feature flag that changes a database stored procedure. I'll begin by launching a new job. Here we can see that the job is successful. We can see that the first task makes the configuration change, and the second task sends the configuration change event to the Dynatrace API. After a short amount of time, Dynatrace then detects a problem within our environment. Let's open the problem card to see more details. Davis, the Dynatrace AI, has identified the scope of the problem, the business impact, the anomalous performance that's impacting our end users, and after analyzing just over 3 million dependencies, it was able to determine the root cause is a particular stored procedure on our database. Davis determines the root cause automatically out of the box, even without any help from Ansible. However, with the additional context information provided by Ansible, Dynatrace now shows that the database stored procedure root cause originates from the configuration change that was triggered by Ansible. We also see the remediation action that's associated with the change. After a predetermined amount of time that is completely configurable, and in our case, 15 minutes, Dynatrace sends a notification to Ansible Tower. The notification triggers the auto remediation job template and passes problem details, including the root cause. Let's take a look at the job execution in Ansible Tower. Within Ansible Tower, let's go and take a look at our jobs that have executed. Here we can locate our job for the auto remediation. The problem details are passed in the extra variables. The playbook then interacts with the Dynatrace API to locate any remediation actions that are associated with the root cause entity. Once the remediation action is found, the remediation job is triggered. 
In this case, the remediation action to roll back our database stored procedure change was executed. After some time, the Davis AI is then able to determine that everything is returned to normal. The database stored procedure is no longer slow and our end users are no longer experiencing long page load times. Dynatrace then sends a final notification to Ansible Tower, indicating that the problem is resolved. This informs Ansible Tower that everything is healthy again and that the auto remediation was successful. A critical aspect of our auto remediation story is that we are only triggering self healing when the Davis AI identifies the change as a root cause. Ansible Tower can receive notifications from a broad range of tools. With traditional monitoring, when a metric threshold is breached, an alert would be sent to Ansible Tower and a self-healing job would be executed. This ends up causing unnecessary rollbacks when the original change really had nothing to do with the problem at all. But with our software intelligence, powered by the Davis AI, we are automatically fixing problems where the original change was in fact the root cause. And finally, as promised, here is our notification example. We receive an email or ticket that tells us that Dynatrace has detected a problem and thanks to Ansible automation, the problem is already resolved and without any manual intervention. This drives tremendous value to your business by increasing application uptime, productivity, and most importantly, business outcomes. Your organization then benefits from reduced mean time to resolution of issues and a massive reduction in people hours lost troubleshooting those issues. I trust that you found this demo insightful and that you see how Dynatrace with Red Hat Ansible work better together. Ansible automates changes and deployments within customer environments. This increases the agility of both IT and the business. Our platform determines the performance and functionality effects of these changes and triggers playbooks to automatically resolve these issues. Find our collection on Ansible Galaxy and check us out at our website where you can sign up for a free trial and see it for yourself. Email us at sales at dynatrace.com or check us out on one of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tony Pope Cruz. Go forth and automate.